why the US WNT requires Crystal Dunn to play left back. The US women's national team is facing more issues than ever before going into 2018 World Cup, but the most pressing one may be about a player who is well-liked, in good health, and expected to start in a position she has been in for some time. Although everyone agrees that she performed admirably there, it doesn't seem like anyone outside the US WNT coaching staff is in favor of Crystal Dunn playing left back. However, that's just what almost all observers anticipate seeing when the US WNT plays Vietnam on Friday at Eden Park in Auckland. You can put her name down in pen, barring an injury at the last minute. Although the discussion around the use of Dunn is intricate and multifaceted, it is important to establish the following basic facts. Since becoming a major player for the University of North Carolina 10 years ago, Dunn has basically played every position, which followed her into the professional ranks. After a stellar season as a forward, she scored 15 of the 31 goals the Washington Spirit scored that season. She was named the 2015 NWSL MVP. After joining Chelsea a year later, she experimented a lot as a wingback, which attracted the attention of USWNT coach Jill Ellis at the time. As an attacking midfielder with the North Carolina Courage, she was the NWSL title winner. The Long Island native is playing as an attack-first, two-way midfielder for the Portland Thorns, and might have a NWSL best 11 season. Dunn has expressed her desire to play midfield for the national team, where she can be a creative center of excellence, in no uncertain terms. Notably, she discussed extensively the weight that is being divided between two positions in a February GQ interview. Even while the national team pushes its fullbacks up forcefully, the job is completely different from her club role in terms of soccer, and it also involves a larger personal challenge.